DDSN works with providers across South Carolina to ensure that individuals with disabilities are able to find work. We spoke with Sammy McAlilly, a Walmart employee of 30 years who has an intellectual disability. We also spoke with Sammy's co-workers at Walmart and employees at Chesco Services who all help support Sammy with his job. Back in 1994, I first started. I was 19 years old at the time. My job coach, Johnny Ray Davis, he helped me to get this job out here. And they say they needed me to start from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. when I first started. Then after a while, after I've been here so long, then they had me to come in like 8 to 4, 8 to 5, and then I think it was like one time 8 to 6. I said, I'll be glad to do 8 to 5, 8 to 6. It don't matter to me, I just take them all. <laughs> My job is maintenance. I do like bathrooms, trash, take the trash out the hangers. I do trash at the service desk. Then I do a safety suite throughout produce and the whole entire store. Once I get that done, I do another round from pets, garden center, and, and then infants. Then after that, I do the bathrooms again. Then I do trash at the front. And then before I go home, I do another safety suite. And then it be clean then. <laughs> yes, sir, it be clean. I've been here 30 years come the 29th of this month. Sammy shared his favorite part of the job. Oh man, my favorite part is greeting, speaking to everybody and greeting everybody. That's my favorite. And my other favorite part is bathrooms and safety suite. <laughs> That's my other important I like to do. Cause safety suite, when you go around, you can go pretty fast. <laughs> He also expressed his feelings about having an intellectual disability. It kind of, I kind of don't let it affect me, you know. I just be happy and just enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> I just enjoy every moment of it. <laughs> Sammy's co-workers at Walmart talked about his personality. Sammy has a very outgoing personality and he is very infectious to everybody he comes in contact with um, on a daily basis, no matter what you, he's always in a good mood. Um, everybody he deals with, he's he's speaking or greeting them and he's thanking his heavenly father for everything that's, that's happening to him. So, um, but as far as, uh, he's a very good asset to our company, as far as uh, representation of customer service and how we all should be. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Um, if I had more Sammys, the store would be a better place. Um, and I think that the whole country would be a better place, honestly. Um, when I tell people that I work at the Shiraz Walmart, that's the first person they ask me if I know. I mean, he is a pure staple in this co in, in this town. Um, there's You associate Sammy with Walmart, Walmart with Sammy, and he's, he's just amazing. You come in in a bad mood, he'll put you in a great mood. He adds to the whole Walmart experience. Um, it is definitely an experience when he is here. You can hear him if he's at the front door, you can hear him back here. Uh, you know where he's going by the sound of his voice and he's he's gonna speak. <laughs> oh man, the people I work with, they like my family, like my second family. They are very nice, very nice to me. And I just enjoy working with them. Employees at Chesco Services describe their experiences working with Sammy. I've been, been working with Sammy um, over 30 some years and I have individuals that works with Walmart. I have some working in different jobs. Sammy has been the one that uh, inspired me because when I'm down, that's what lifts me up, Sammy does. I've been working with Chesco Services for over 22 years now. Uh, I've known Sammy for uh, approximately 30 years that he's been at Walmart. I met him when I was 16 years old in high school and uh, I was amazed then at his personality and uh, his uh, all the good things he was doing at Walmart caught me as a surprise to begin with. Um, then over time you realize that he is really that happy and that outgoing all the time. And he has really made our job so much easier at Chesco as far as getting jobs for other people, whether it be at Walmart or other programs, uh, just because everyone knows Sammy. Uh, just the fact that he's been um, the 
uh, Citizen of the Year here in Terrell. He's also been the Grand Marshal of the Christmas Parade. Uh, so everyone in Terrell knows him. So uh, anytime we're looking for a place to place another individual uh, in, you know, in individual employment, they, they always want another Sammy. So, um, and we've been fortunate. We have a lot of other great guys and gals who are uh, employed at other locations, but uh, Sammy is definitely one that's probably the most well-known. Christina spoke about what it's like working with employees who have disabilities and special needs. Um, it's definitely an experience. Um, they are very, very just full of life. It, it makes everything so much better. You, you get so caught up in the day-to-day, -day, everyday business and you forget how to live and my guys know how to live. And they truly come in here and remind us what it's supposed to be like. Christina also talked about the collaboration between Walmart and Chesco Services and placing individuals with disabilities in jobs. Johnny and I have a very good relationship. Um, Johnny will call me and he'll say, you know, I've got such and such that needs a position. What, what can you do for him? And then they'll come in and we'll typically we'll do like a group interview. Um, and if I have issues, cares, comments, concerns, all I have to do is text Johnny and he's he's here. He's helping doing on the job coaching, things like that. They'll come spend the day with him if they need to just to kind of get them back on that right direction. Johnny explained how he addresses challenges that employees may face and what qualities employers should have when hiring someone with special needs. I enjoy dealing with people at Walmart because they, if I have a problem with Sammy, they're going to call me. And I thought that's, that's a big thing with my program is that, you know, we all believe in giving people a second chance. And with Sammy, uh, he has problems at times and they'll call me. And I said, nah, he would tell you I come out and talk with him there and put him back on track. And, you know, you know you, this job now you have to have patience. If you don't have no patience, I can promise you it won't work. Christina and Trish offered advice for employers considering hiring individuals with disabilities. Basically have to see what that person basically can do and how that's really going to benefit your company um, as them being an asset. Um, there's always something they can do, whether it's just, you know, pushing a broom, you know, anybody can do that part. So it's, you just have to figure out what it is that your company needs and that person can attribute to that part. And I'm 100% a believer if they come to work, there's something for them to do. Mm -hmm. um, what we hire you for might not be what you need to be doing. We can absolutely, it's our job to figure out where you fit in and what you need to be doing. So there's absolutely, there's always something for somebody. Sammy expressed how his job fosters his independence. I got my own place. I stay in Chirol, Mar it's called not Marfield, but town and country apartments. And they real nice apartments. I cook, I clean, I wash, I, I do my own laundry, I, dry, I got my own dryer, I take my own bath, I eat, cook, and then I vacuum clean, put the carpet fresh down, and then I vacuum clean, and my house be smelling like a rose. <laughs> Gabe spoke about how he has seen Sammy grow over the years. You know, when I first met him, he was 19 years old working here. So uh, now he's approaching his 50th birthday. So um, not only has he grown as far as the job and knowing the task and everything, and even changing jobs over time, um, but also his growth uh, within the community. He is very involved with, um, he's on our human rights committee. He is involved with his church, uh, Special Olympics. Um, he's just involved in everything and anything he can be involved in. Lastly, Sammy conveyed how his family feels about his job and independence. Oh man, they are very proud of me. They say this, keep up the good work. And I tell them I will always do that. <laughs> I just want to work. <laughs> I don't think about nothing else but work. That is it. Yes, sir.